that is what we're going to be making today. We're going to be doing it a different way. I think this is um, alloy stem. We're going to want to do wire stem. So there's what it looks like. That's what we're going to be making. All right. So now that we can see that, that's what our that's what our goal is. That we're, that's what we're going to make. So as you saw my Wagler floats, there are some different, lots of different materials you can use for making floats, and I don't think in my other videos I've actually gone over that. I think in this one we might. Um, so you, balsa wood obviously is going to be used for the body. You could use cork if you like. The stems can be a lot of different materials. You can use wood, you can use wire, you could use aluminum welding rod, bamboo skewers, bamboo chopsticks, really anything that carbon fiber um, and fiberglass stems work just as well. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to use a wire stem. Um, and I think I'm going to use a bamboo skewer or a bamboo chopstick piece for the top. Um, I think that would give a very uniform um, how we make it. And I think it might actually come out a little bit better than what I did on the last one that was all balsa wood here. And I think all we do is just make this part here and then we can drill a hole through the middle and then I put the bamboo skewer, put the chopstick in maybe about maybe yay deep to give it some sort of uh, rigidity or durability and make the stem, the wire the same way and maybe make this a little bit thinner. So that way we can use it probably in some uh, lighter water and we'll make a batch of them for this upcoming steelhead season. And then you'll see on video, you'll see the floats, on, you'll see the floats in action. So with, the, with that said, um, let's get to making the floats and watch on video. I don't think I really need to talk anymore about how they're gonna be made. Um, I think you've seen already two videos on how these floats are made. And you're gonna have an idea of what's involved in the process of making these floats. So stay tuned and I just want to thank everybody for watching and supporting these videos. Don't forget to keep watching. Uh, subscribe if you like them, like if you like them. And uh, also share the videos with your friends so that way we can get everything out there. All right, so with that said, let's, let's get to making some floats and we'll see you in a little bit.
Fortunately, one of the floats broke, uh, got ruined when I was trying to drill it, but this one survived. As you can see, we've got the bamboo skewer or the um, chopstick. We'll get that glued in. And then the wire stem, the same way I did the other wire stem on this one, same way. But I think we're gonna have a much better looking float once we get all this rounded off. Painted, obviously these same colors up here. And this will be one single color shaded as all the other ones have been. So let's get to gluing this. We'll get this all sanded off and finished and sealed and we should be good to go for painting. All right, here we go. I made seven floats off camera. Well, actually I made five off camera. Um, but we're going to paint all these. This is the batch I'm going to... This is our batch. And they're all going to be pretty much the same color, I think. I'll just figure that out as we go. But what we're going to do right now is we are going to put a clear coat over each one of them. And that will give a nice smooth base for us to do some painting. So let's mix the clear coat and we'll come back probably in the morning and we'll be able to paint them in the morning. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay, we're going to paint a bunch of floats so we're doing a batch. This um, float is going to be, you see I already painted it white and black. So it's going to be silver going up the top as a base and then um, we'll be going uh, some blue purple and then back to transparent black and then obviously the same stuff I've been doing the whole time which I'm not going to do on camera because you guys have already seen it twice so let's okay silver we have three um, floats like this so this is going to now here we go. Okay. Here we go. I think that was pretty, pretty awesome. Okay, that's one. Same thing. Same technique. Okay. Okay, we're building float and we're going to paint gold on the way. We're going to use some brilliant blue. Very light from the top. Okay. What do you think of that? I think it looks pretty good. There we go, now it's perfectly. Same color, next one. Okay. All right, same thing. Hold your brush up high. Yeah. And then, like right the heavy down below. Perfect. How about that? You can still see the colors and the shading and everything. I like that. Can we do it again on the last one? Okay, same technique. And there we go. Let's okay, now we're going to work with pearlized plum. 
Okay, to me it looks purple. Okay, so this one. Same technique applies, start at the base, work our way up, and hopefully we get some overspray up in here, and um, it'll look pretty cool. Here we go. Okay, now the purple blue one. Same thing. All we want is for it to go transparent. There we go. Just like that. Same thing. There we go. I love the shading on it. Another one. This is the last one. Same, same method. Now I want to just bring it out and let the black shade it. Beautiful. That's what I'm looking for, just like that. Okay, we're back to fluorescent yellow and then orange. So let's get these done.
Okay, so we're going to go to the first one. Let's go to the first one. I'm going to go to the first one. Let's go to the first one. All right, as it says, fluorescent orange. Okay, so let's uh, let's unveil one of these after we got it painted. So just be aware that this isn't anywhere near done yet. So there we go. Love the shading, top from bottom to top. When we put the finish on that, is really gonna that's gonna pop. Then we're gonna do our same borders that we did on the other uh, two floats. Okay, so there we go. And we'll show you the. Let's see what the purple one look. The purple and blue looks like. Let's see what that looks like. So here we go, we're taking this one off. Oh wow, look at that. Wow, is that nice. That looks like a really nice float. I love it. I love the shading on the airbrushes, how Airbrushes just really bring it out. All right, so now that you see it, we'll get them all undone and then we'll show the final. This is Wicked Metallic Bronze. top and bottom well I guess we won't be able to see that just go with gold silver. I think these will come out better silver and we'll do the darker colors with bronze. Silver. 
I like that, it's nice and subtle. Nice subtle colors, that's what I like. Yeah, great shading and subtle colors. Okay, well, I just want to thank everybody for watching the video. I uh, hope you all learned a, new, a few new things. Uh, these were the floats that we made. The fin this is the finished product. Um, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and then please share the videos. And I want to thank you all for watching, and we will see you on the next one. And as they say, on the next video, we'll see you then. Have a great day.